Children who live close to most of our wild places are literally front lines of defense in conservation. Unless they understand and appreciate why animals matter, why parks matter, we're actually going to lose this battle. You hear stories from children about being pulled out of school to guard crops, to stay up in the night with their families and this is not something you're used to hearing. Because this wildlife is in such close contact with human communities, conflict often arises. And we see this conservation education program as a step in helping to build a world in which both humans and wildlife can thrive. ಸಣ್ಣ ಮಕ್ಕಳುಗಳಿಗೆ ಯಾವುದು ಗೊತ್ತಿರಲ್ಲ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಲೀನ್ ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಇದ್ದಾಗೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಇಂದಾನೆ ನಾವು ಒಳ್ಳೆ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳದ್ದು ಮತ್ತೆ ಕಾಡು ನಮ್ಮ ಪರಿಸರ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾ ಹೋದಾಗ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ most of the environmental education programs are focused in building environmental awareness and not connection between people and wildlife So we started Wild Chale with the intention of trying to build empathy and interest in animals get children to understand why food webs matter how we are all interconnected also some safety coping mechanisms when there's a conflict situation in their house or their village Wild Chale program is a really exciting approach to education because we're using a combination of creative arts play-based learning and really engaging multimedia presentation to get kids excited about wildlife We have a team of amazing educators who go into the classrooms. Uh they have four separate modules that they lead in these classrooms. And each module focuses on a different part of the story. So the first module is really about introducing kids to the amazing species found in their local areas, like tigers and elephants, and telling them about the things they actually have in common with these species. So trying to build commonalities. you meet children who who didn't know that elephants swam and when we show a video of elephants swimming there's an entire class of kids who starts cheering also the mask making activity where we give the kids the freedom to be as creative as they want with the stripes and the spots we see a lot of unique tigers and leopards we do this to talk about how every tiger is unique or has a unique stripe pattern and every kid is unique as well The second module is about understanding the web of life and the connections that we have as people to different species in the forest but also the connections that those species have to each other. One thing that really struck me was this school. There was this very young child didn't speak a lot. At the end of each session, we ask all these children what you learned, what an animal needs, what the human needs. And she stood up and said whatever humans need so do animals and since they were here first they have more rights to all their needs more than us and that really struck me because girl just captured the entire essence of what we're trying to teach the kids the third module is really about understanding why some of these amazing species are actually threatened and endangered and what we can do as people to help them kids play a game called the action reaction game where we read them different scenarios maybe there's a tiger in the wild and another tiger comes into its territory we ask kids how they would feel if they were that tiger and then they run to different corners of the room to react to that scenario and it's really fun but it's also really important because it gets kids to take the perspective of the tiger and that's a first step towards building empathy The fourth module is about trying to build tolerance and build safe behaviors around these species which frequently come into contact with students and their families in these villages and it's providing also information about how students and their families can get help in the case of an incident. I think really getting children excited about nature is really important if you want to build this conservation ethos that stays with somebody through their life. and does it doesn't fade away as you get older hunse kuppe anta ondu nagrole hatra ondu uride alli iddorella giri jana makkalu tribal makkalu galiddru so navu yen helidru navu respond madala avaru thumba unique 
ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಮಕ್ಕಳುಗಳು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆದರೆ ಹೊರ ಹಾಕಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಆ ಶಾಲೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೋದಾಗ ಅವ್ರು ನನಗೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಥರ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಎರಡನೇ ಸೆಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮಾತಾಡಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಮೂರನೇ ಸೆಷನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತಾಡಲೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದೊಂದು ಶಾಲೆ ನನಗೆ ರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಬೇಜಾರಿತ್ತು ಆದರೆ ನಾಲ್ಕನೇ ಸೆಷನ್ಗೆ ಹೋದಾಗ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರೈಬಲ್ ಹುಡುಗ ನನ್ನ ಹತ್ರ ಬಂದು ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಶಿಪ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟ ನನಗೆ ಅವಾಗ ನಿಜ ಒಂಥರ ಖುಷಿ ಅನ್ನಿಸ್ತು ಮತ್ತೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ತುಂಬ ಖುಷಿ ಆಯಿತು ನನಗೆ conservation education is mandated by the constitution of india we're doing an absolute disservice by not implementing this program with every school across india whether it be in a rural setting or an urban setting and i hope this program continues to grow and and eventually gets to every child in india in schools bhumi taaye ninage vandane koti koti jeeva ganata koti vandane koti koti jeeva ganata koti vandane